Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. I'm Christopher Alamang, a junior in the Electrical Engineering Department. This video is about adding pre-assembled part or assembly files to your assembly. Here we have Eric's Zotrope. To begin with, we need to make a few items invisible. To do this, you right click and then click visibility. Let's do this to the top so that we can see it inside. Now we can see inside, so we're going to start placing our new components. So we go to place, and this is from a file I have on my computer, so here's an ultrasonic sensor we will add. We're going to rotate it around the x-axis and place it. Now we hit escape, and we want to constrain this. We're going to constrain it to within the breadboard. Click OK. But if you notice, we do not have holes for it, so we need to add the holes. To do this, go to 3D Model, Start 2D Sketch, select your surface, project geometry, we're going to project the circles. So here's one, here's the other one, and if you look at the front, they're there. So we're finishing our sketch. We're going to go to extrude. We're going to go to two. So first we select what we want to extrude, and then we're going to select what we want to extrude to. We want to go all the way to the back, so we select that surface and then hit OK. Now if you look at the front, we have the holes for our ultrasonic sensor. Now let's place an Arduino. So we go to place, open, we'll just place that here, and we want to constrain it to the bottom of the enclosure. So we click constrain, select the surface, select this surface, and then click OK. Now the Arduino cannot be removed from the bottom of the enclosure. But we want to mount it with holes, so let's go back to 3D model, start 2D sketch, one on this surface, project geometry, select our circles, finish sketch, extrude, Select the holes we want to extrude. We want to go to, then all the way back to the back. Okay. Well, now we have holes, but if we mount screws in it, they're going to stick out and the bottom will not be flat, so you can't sit it on something. So, to fix this, we're going to countersink our screws. To do this, we go to chamfer and select our holes then click OK and now you can see our holes are countersunk so we can put countersunk screws in them and the bottom will be flush so to do this we'll go to place from content center and we have fasteners bolts countersunk We'll just select the first ones here. And these are M3 screws, screws so we'll select those and go to 8mm, click OK. And we want four of them. And then click Escape. Now, to constrain these, it's a little different. We're going to go to Constrain, and then we want these to be flush with the bottom, so we select that surface and then the bottom, and then click apply. And now that bolt's flush, so let's do it for the other three. One surface, two, okay. Apply. Apply. 
Now we want to put them in the holes. So we're going to use mate for that. Select the threads. And then we need to make sure when we're doing this that you see the line going through the center axis. So that's OK. Click Apply. Now that screw is placed. That screw is placed. That screw is placed, and we have one more. Now you can see that the bottom is perfectly flush, so you will have no problem setting this on a table. And we also have our ultrasonic sensor. Now to get our platter and top back, we're going to go to this and click right click and then click visibility and right click and visibility. Now we have the Zotrope with an ultrasonic sensor and an Arduino inside. Thanks for watching.